Okay, so we're gonna run this T-fillet, and uh, one of the things that I like to do is I put my electrode in the electrode holder, kind of at this 45 degree angle. So we're gonna come in, and I'm gonna flatten it out to about a yeah, 45 degree with a slight pull. We're gonna do what's called a, uh, a up-down whip motion, up-down whip motion, but we're gonna keep most of the heat on the flat part. Here we go. Okay, we kind of burned the extent of that one. We're going to grab another rod. This one's going to be a used rod. That's going to help us finish out the weld. So this is 6010. We don't need to chip. We're just going to go for it and get it right back in the puddle. We're going to do a restart, fill the puddle in, and we're just going to keep doing that same whip back and forth motion. Here we go. Ooh, almost stuck. Okay, try not to do any strike marks up out of the weld area. Try to keep everything compact in the, the weld field. If you do any arc strikes out of the welded area, if it's a cert test, uh, that could be a disqualification. So we're gonna kind of let this glow go away. Kind of scrape off this 6010. Don't need to really chip it. got a little glow there so we're going to kind of let that glow go away you can at least critique the first part of the weld you can see that every time that you you, you were in there it made a nice little ripple going in and out you can kind of see it looks like uh, fish scales or stacked dimes that's kind of the look you're looking for Look at the heat mark while it's still cooling. Definitely even heat marks from the beginning all the way to the end. Little hot on the end. We're gonna let this cool and take it to the wire wheel really quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so I took it to the wire wheel, clean it up, and you can kind of see that every time we, we filled this in, we kind of did a slight whip motion in and out, and every time we come out of the puddle, it it freezes. It's a fast freeze rod, so it'll freeze in there. We get the puddle to fill in. We're just stacking the same size puddles, keeping that 45 degree angle with a 10, 15 degree pull, and we're just kind of stacking puddles back and forth. Keep it simple. It's not a hard joint. Just back and forth, back and forth. Got our restart here. So this is your 6010 horizontal T-fillet.